Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Kill Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial this is the Runaway Sparky R filter tutorial and I want to show you just how this works. So you tap right here. You hear a sound. This is not the original of course. And then this frame stops and you can also work. I just have another example with a blue background so you see right here that everything that is um, blue is kind of cut out so you work with a kind of a alpha mask i show you how to add the animation to it um, how you work with the screen tab and so on and so on so let's start okay let's start and we start with uh with setting the scene so we need uh, three different three different rectangles and start with adding a new rectangle go full width and height and duplicate this one copy and command d and once again this is our background Camera. and this is our run away this one is our for animation sequence, um, the background we want to use or the um, overlay we want to use later. This is our camera texture and this is a white background later. And go to the first one, BG, add a new material and copy this one twice as well. Camera and run away and make sure that you add these two to the right one and okay flat flat and flat go to camera we need the texture extraction go to your device and add the render pass default pipeline to your patch editor perfect so this is part one i put the camera a comment around call this one pass and the next step is add a LUT. and the easiest way is to work with the LUT shader you can go on the LUT shader and go to LUT shader but I recommend to go to color LUT and add a LUT to your project. We don't need this one. You can delete this one right here and add uh, the camera texture to the texture. So in this case, we work with in sender. So it's a little bit easier for us to organize our project and call this one Camera. camera and add a receiver right here so go to make a receiver and add this receiver to our texture and now we need to color that import from your computer in my case I create this one so you see in this case we want to make sure that darkened the I don't know if I can show you the light room preset okay so this is the setting I just go to contrast a little bit higher and just shadows and so on and so on I really darken this, this out and the temperature as well and that's the settings I added and add this one to my LUT. If you want to know more about how to create a LUT please watch this tutorial up here and back to our project go to add the LUT to the color LUT and make sure that the grid is 8 by 8 in this case 
and now we add in sender because call this one LUT. That's it. With this comment around. Two. And the next step is um, just wanna make sure you see me. Hello. Hello. And the next step is the animation. So we start with the animation before we start with the uh, render pass. And for this animation, we add a screen tab and go and or add and switch and put the switch is on and animation, loop animation and a loop and go to random. This random isn't necessary. You can, of course, just the duration is three. I thought it, it it's maybe a little bit more interesting when you, when you randomize the animation sequence later. And the range is, in my case, between zero and four. Go to your material, run away and add a new animation sequence to it and call this one sequence um, run away and add a new texture and I just have four different textures for this animation add this current frame and let's test this. Go to simulate touch. And now every three seconds, it another background or another frame appear. Again, the if you have more than just um, four, it's more interesting, of course. But yeah you get the idea. And again, you don't need this. You can also go, um, oh, I forgot round. Maybe it's a little bit better. Again. Okay, we want to start this whole animation, the whole scene right here after three seconds. So you have enough time to get you into to your position. I don't know. So in delay of three and a switch again, turn on the ca this canvas. So if this canvas is the visibility is off when you start the screen tab or when you start the recording also we need um, we need this loop animation for our freeze frame so add a switch to it and also a sender and call this one freeze frame comment round Okay, now we start with our render pass. So go to render, shader render pass. And delay frame. Call this one, just one. We add another later and add this to render pass and we add a mix and go receiver the second one and now we need this one no nope. second one later we need the second shader render pass at this one down here 
and to receiver right here from our camera texture. Oh, sorry, we don't need this one. We need this. The first one is with our latch. So this latch right here is just um, our camera texture with a latch. And we want to use this one in our mixer. So, whoop. So you see this example, or in, in the real scenario, it's more like this, looks like this or this one right here. And this is just our freeze frame later for our camera right here. So go to and add the texture. down here. We need a second render pass. Shadow render pass. A mix and a delay frame. So render pass receiver and connect this just check it right here oops this one the second part is we add a call camera alpha so a sender and call this link it to your shader render pass and camera Alpha receiver. We need this receiver. We want to use this later because we want to work with a freeze frame for our runaway later. So we need this version or this camera texture as freeze version. Now nothing really happened so far. So when you go to click on it, you'll again see just the animation or the animation sequence but you also see the freeze frame is still is working so when i just put the visibility off this camera texture right here is freeze for uh, three seconds and then it really starts again it's this pulse right here one to create a comment around this Or freeze frame and the last part for the last part we need our sequence camera texture so and this unpack this because unpack now we start with um, creating a kind of an alpha or a mask for our runaway so that this we see the camera texture behind that and I don't, uh, I will show you, you don't necessarily need this if you don't want to. You can also just work with a PG, but I thought it's maybe better when you see it with this camera texture um, between these two, but you don't need that. But I will show you everything and whatever. Again, so unpack this um, four vectors. So we have the R, G, B, and A. So, and we start with um, pack this one. The first three, again, we need two, uh, four. And add the R, G, and B. So red, yellow, uh, red, green, and blue channel to a pack. And this one to our texture, uh, runaway texture. Now we create the alpha and we need for this alpha the information of our uh, shader render pass right here, this one right here. And we unpack 
this also this um, four channels Bloop. and work with the blue channel so RGB and the blue channel when I just link it like this and just want to show it um, with this example right here so we have this blue background drop and now I see everything that's blue is cleaned up camera texture maybe another example and it also the freeze frame is working but we want to make it a little bit more crisp and build a little bit more like this example with uh, this as background or as overlay so go to multiply minus one and add an add and this one is one and add a mix Um, and go up here, this one to alpha, this one up here, and now it's way more like this original, because we work with um, the alpha or the lights of our runaway sequence, when we are Put this up, it doesn't work. So, and when you just add this, it's the opposite. So, we need the mix or just this one, it doesn't work as well. So, this is the mix that works perfect. Again, you can go to camera texture and just add go to visibility off. And now you see that this is our alpha and what we see right here is the runaway, the animation sequence and this white light right here is our background because if not you just see uh, the real texture behind that so we just need a solid background and also you can work with the background just with the background go to and uh, add to this black one and this is also fine if you just want to do this and but I think this is um, a little bit more structure in your face it could be interesting but you see this kind of white edges right here and for this you go to smooth steps and right here this one right here so it's a little bit better 0 0.1 maybe 0 0.8 can just maybe another example because the beard is pretty a bit pretty good example so there you see the difference when you just go to 1 or 12 this is way too much but this is what we had before, 0.7. This is maybe a little bit too rough. And again, you see everything that is blue is and white is kind of um, cut out. So the alpha is working and the rest is um, pretty dark. And again, don't need the camera texture and it's uh, way more crisp than before that is also working of course and the last step is working with an, a speaker so go to add a speaker want to create a comment around this this one file alpha one away and go to your animation we use this switch here 
because the, we want to start with, with the sound at the first moment before we start with first freeze frame. So audio back player, play controller, audio back player, thing go to play. So we switch this play on Oop, right here. Make sure the audio is on audio playback controller and I didn't have um, download the Aurora file but so go to import from computer or in my case I just add any sound maybe this one import for free and just want to try this and you maybe hear the sound it's pretty weird, but yeah. So that's it. That's the whole scene again. Just try a little bit and of course, maybe watch uh, the other tutorials about uh, around this whole uh, Aurora runaway topic. Um, and yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have questions, leave a comment down below, leave a like and of course uh, this uh, subscription Ding. if you are not a fan of this channel right now. And of course tell this everyone who wants to know this and enjoy the process. Bye bye.